In one of his interviews in September 2018, Tesla's CEO Elon Musk first floated the idea to build an electric airplane. The plane, the South African-born billionaire envisioned, was simply a vertical takeoff and landing aircraft capable of cruising at high altitudes with supersonic speeds. Elon once mentioned that all modes of transport would go electric with the exception of rockets. However, could a Tesla airplane be in his plans to electrify all transportation? Or is he dreaming of a white elephant? Let us find out. Welcome to another business automated video. Before we get started, make sure to subscribe to this channel and turn on the notification bell. That way, when we post more content like this, you will get notified. Now, let's get back to our main topic. Elon Musk has recently reiterated his support for the development of an electric jet, hinting at his long-held ambition to create a zero-emission flying vehicle. There should be a new supersonic jet this time electric, he posted on Twitter. Musk's post was in response to a tweet from the World of Engineering account, which marked the anniversary of Concorde's last commercial flight. 17 years ago, the joint British-French plane was an engineering marvel in its time, having a cruising speed of about 1,350 miles per hour and flying from New York to London in less than three hours. The post revives Musk's oft hinted at plans to build an electric plane. His apparent ambition dates back to at least 2008 and even surfaced in his cameo in the 2010 movie Iron Man 2. When Musk revealed his plans to build an electric vertical takeoff and landing aircraft, he was to face another big task of developing a battery with enough energy density to enable his jet to, well, actually perform the vertical takeoff and landing. Musk estimated that his plane would require lithium-ion batteries with an energy density higher than 400 watt-hours per kilo. Today's Panasonic's 2170 batteries with high cycles utilized in Tesla's Model 3 can only achieve 260 watt-hours per kilo of energy density. Now, the big question is, how will Musk achieve such a big figure of 400 watt-hours per kilo to make his five-year ambition of creating an electric aircraft viable? Tesla's electric aircraft project came to the fore once more on Tesla's battery day in September 2020, when the company promised a series of advancements that could make batteries affordable and endow them with greater overall performance. A month before the event, on a Monday night, Musk tweeted that the 400-watt-hour battery was not far. He said that these batteries would probably enter volume production in three to four years. Musk has claimed that the jet would need around 400 watt-hours per kilo at a minimum, but for desirable performance, the ideal battery density would be somewhere around 500 watt-hours per kilo. Musk appears not to have given up on his electric jet idea, but he has to put his focus on Tesla's other projects. Musk noted in 2018 that electric vehicles, solar energy, and battery storage were still his higher priorities than aviation. Getting rid of fossil fuel cars makes sense as Tesla's current focus because it reduces pollution of the environment. According to the Environmental and Energy Study Institute, aviation accounted for only 2.4% of global carbon dioxide emissions in 2018. On the other hand, road transport accounted for 72% of carbon dioxide emissions in 2016, according to the World Resources Institute. In addition, considering that clean energy accounted for 6% of Tesla's revenue at the time, it means that it's quite a good go. During the question and answer session at the Battery Day event, Musk said how they were planning to come up with a battery technology that could boost annual battery production from 0.1 terawatt hours to 10 terawatt hours for electric vehicles. He also pointed out that the new batteries could reduce investment per gigawatt by 75% and also require a tenfold smaller building footprint per gigawatt hour. Tesla CEO did not mention anything about the battery density during the conversation, but he later suggested that Tesla could start to advance towards the 400 watt hours per kilo range later. 
Musk's announcement came barely two weeks after Tesla's battery research team in Canada published a new article in the scientific journal Nature that dealt with the most recent progress in Tesla's battery technology and its performance in the next-generation battery cells. According to Jeff Dahn, one of the researchers, such battery technology could boost the range of electric vehicles by roughly 174 miles or even make electrified urban aviation possible. Tesla was expected to make several announcements about the projects in development at the Battery Day event on the 22nd of September 2020. However, unfortunately, the Battery Day ended with no battery and a lot of unanswered questions. Musk did not give any updates on several key projects, such as Cybertruck, a plan to mine lithium, and the long-rumored quote, super battery, end quote, that could power a car up to 1 million miles throughout the battery's life. Back in 2018, Musk said, quote, The exciting thing to do would be a vertical takeoff and landing supersonic jet of some kind, end quote, implying that he is engrossed in a high-speed design that would not require the long runways of current aircraft. Musk also commented on the concept art in June of 2020 of a possible Tesla electric plane, which resembled a Manta Ray, putting it in writing that, quote, It looks pretty cool. Tesla promises small airliners with a distributed thrust, solar bodywork, and lighter weight. The new ID Tech X report, Solid State and Polymer Batteries 2020 2030, spells that higher energy density will be integrated with non flammability. Close behind will be the Siemens Radial Flux Permanent Magnet PM motors with 5 kW per kilo. Tesla Airplane is also expected to feature a panoramic window, connectivity, and artificial intelligence capabilities, power electronics, sensors, wireless upgrades, solar bodywork, a magnesium fuselage with a carbon fiber underbody, a retractable landing gear, three ducted fans, a user interface, and integration of heating and cooling units. For safety reasons, the Tesla electric aircraft will be designed with distributed electric propulsion, DEP. DEP means having up to 20 propellers and motors in fixed wings, so if one or more motors or propellers fail, the other propellers or motors take over to land the aircraft safely. A large number of motors and controllers raise the overall cost of the aircraft. However, they have several benefits. Some of the benefits of DEP include safety through redundancy, for its passengers and or cargo, longer endurance, shorter takeoff and landing, up to 36 thrusters time, half the wing mass for a fixed wing, and better control. Tesla electric jet is also expected to come with key enabling technologies that will support it on land, water and air beyond the usual light weighting and drag reduction. Make sure to check out one of the videos shown on your screen right now. You can also go to our Business Automated channel profile to see if we have posted another video update on this topic. Thank you so much for watching and we will see you on another Business Automated video.